T to the V to the L to the I to the N to the E TV line. So I saw the footage for the special. The footage? That was finished, edited material, that was. <laughs> the Victorian special. Yeah. Um, how long have you known that that was going to be on the big screen that was going to play a limited engagement? And did that affect sort of the scope of it in any way? How long have we known? When did we first Oh, it finished it? filming. Um, it doesn't affect the scope because of the way television is now. I mean, television's made for those huge screens in people's living rooms, which are actually uh, more clearly seen than cinema screens. So you, you're, you're, all make, you're making everything in a cinematic way now because there isn't actual a practical choice. And we always try and make Sherlock as cinematic and as big and as blockbuster as we can. So it, it, didn't, it didn't change that. And the Victorian sort of, it, there's no time travel here, right? It's just literally, it's a standalone It's in its own movie. little bubble. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a game of variations. I mean, we never bothered explaining why Sherlock Holmes was in the modern days, so and why would he bother explaining why he's in the Victorian? But he actually is supposed to be. Lestrade is in it, correct? He is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can can you tease anything about what his look is? We've seen oh, yes. the other. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, got, I've got massive, uh, yeah, huge, big, uh, hairy uh, cheeks. <laughs> massive. Uh, yeah. like, on his so, face. On my, yeah, it's on my face. <laughs> yeah, on my face. Um, it's like two koalas uh, uh, mating on my face. Uh, and a wig. Yes. And, and a new suit. Yeah. One of the kind of great fun things of of, of transposing it into the um, uh, Victorian time is is making these little changes and but trying to keep the essence of it the same. Where did the idea to do this versus, you know, putting all the energy into maybe another episode for season four? Like, how did that come about? It's always been a separate thing. This yes. uh, we, we series four was confirmed. We knew we were doing it and all that. That was going to happen. And then Mark and I started talking about, could we do a Victorian one? Could we do 10 minutes of a show in Victorian time? And I kept thinking, no, if you're going to do it, do it. Mm -hmm. So we thought, well, if you had one that was separate, that wasn't part of the, the normal run of three, it was a, you know, a, 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 an extra episode on top of our usual gargantuan length runs of three, um, then, then it, would, it, would, it could sit alone and not detract from the series, as it were, yeah. by being something separate. Also, if you've just got one episode, you don't want it to be just another episode, really, do you? Yeah. you wanted it to feel... We special. had to do something special, special for a special. But, you know, actually the idea of doing a special came from the fact that we we wanted to do a Victorian yeah. one rather than the other way around. And as far as season four goes, you haven't written anything yet? Or you have written something? Like, how far this into the process critical. are you? Um, <laughs> uh, well, well, both Mark and I have been busy on things. I've been doing Doctor Who and Mark's been doing uh, loads and loads of stuff. He's in the play right now and, and doing Doctor Who. You've had a lot of meetings about it. We, we had lots of meetings. Oh, you know yeah. uh, we have plotted out, you know, our big twists, the big turns, what stories we're going to do. I mean, uh, we've done all that. The big heart-wrenching stuff, the big huge plot twists, I think we've got some absolute crackers coming. I do think the set of ideas we have for the fourth season are, are, are I shouldn't be writing the reviews, but wouldn't it be great if I could? Um, then uh, then uh, I think the, these are these are terrific. I'm really, really excited about it. Can you tease anything? Is Moriarty back? He's dead, mate. He shot himself. <laughs> look, 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 he shot himself in the mouth, blew the back of his head off in front of the cleverest detective in the world. Now, the cleverest detective in the world would know if it, if it was a fake, wouldn't he? So he's definitely dead. The back of his head's missing. It's blood everywhere. His legacy, though. His legacy. Will live on throughout the... Well, legacies do live on, don't they? There's much point in having them otherwise. If yeah. your legacy dies with you, frankly, you've screwed up the whole concept. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got it, have you? <laughs>